Greetings everyone. We have been working on the procedural animation for a long time. We didn't reach uh, satisfying results yet to do a step-by-step -step tutorial, so we wanted to share with you the progress till this point, and we will show you how we created this uh, Limbo-inspired spider. And as it is expected from the procedural animation, while we move the spider, each leg of its legs trying to find an appropriate place to go there which make it feels like a realistic spider movement all the logic of the spider procedural animation has been done by my partner Lena and I only did the visual part regarding the spider design and the post processing and the level design so let's see how we reached these results So here is the scene which we created and I'll show you how we reached this result from the beginning. So let's remove the graphics around and remove the post-processing. Okay, so here is, here is how we started the scene. And regarding the spider, I draw that in Photoshop, then use the PSP, ma uh, PSP package from the package manager to import the PSP Photoshop file to Unity. So if we double click on the spider, Photoshop will open and I'll show you how I did the drawing. So I use the curvature pen tool to create the legs and each leg consists of three parts as you can see here one, two, three and uh, if you want to know how I draw that I created previously a detailed tutorial how to draw your 2D character using the curvature pen tool so you can check that if you want the link in the description and in the top right corner so back to unity after we imported the spider graphic we use this sprite editor for skinning and rigging by going to the skinning editor we created the bones for the spider so we have the bone one which is the main bone then from it we created a series of bones for each leg so each leg have three bones and now they are linked nicely if you want to know details how we created that also we have detailed tutorial about how to rig your 2d character the link is in the des description below so after we rigged the character we used also the IK 2D IK also the 2D PSD importer for importing the graphics from Photoshop so we created four IK we added the IK manager to the spider and added an IK manager 2D then created four CCD solvers for each leg as you can see here we have four solvers for each leg so if I move this point the spider leg all parts move in correspondence to that using the IK Also setting up those IK points, if you want to know more details, the same tutorial explains how to do that. So here is the concept. Simply we have the bone one which represents the spider body and it's linked to brain script which controls the distance between the spider body and the ground and keeps the spider above the ground because uh, in the body, the bone one, it has a rigid body 2D which is kinematic to avoid making the spider fall on the ground 
also the brain script setting the distance between the center point and the leg positions or you can say the leg movers because for each leg we have a mover and the IK point or the, sol the solver you can say the CCD solver 2D so here in the brain for each leg we have the leg position or the solver and the leg mover which is a point far away from the center the leg solver stays at their place whereas the leg position moves with the body so if we click play and move the spider bone one sorry to the left with it it moves the leg positions while the leg IKs stays at their places and here where it goes the code called leg mover it's on each leg and it's it do ray casting from the leg solver point to the leg mover location and we uh, measure the distance till it reaches uh, a threshold for example 1 or 1 1.5 float then the leg starts moving so I click on bone one and move the spider to the left enough to exceed the threshold then you the a leg that will start moving see here's one leg here's another leg the same when the distance reaches a threshold the leg starts moving and now I'm moving the spider manually to show the procedural animation so we added a code on the bone one it's a, a, a simple movement script to move uh, the body on the left and the right horizontally So you might ask also how we can position each leg on different surfaces. So each leg mover have also a ray cast, a ray cast from above the location of the leg and ray casting to the ground. And when it uh, hit the ground, we get the hit point of the ray cast and we move the leg mover there. So check this let's move the spider till this red ray cast reaches this point for example see the leg mover started to move there so when we start moving the leg it will move from the IK point to the leg mover point now check see it moved from here to there and that's all the logic about the procedural animation for this spider And as a final addition, I made the bone one, which represents the spider body, moves up and down to give feeling that the spider is breathing or alive. Then I started adding randomly some silhouette graphics to decorate the scene. I added some grasses in front and trees in the background as a background to create some parallax effect automatically using perspective camera also I used Cinemachine to make the camera follow the spider and also I discovered this nice orbital transposer which makes the camera rotate around your character and finally I added some post-processing effects by adding the volume script and using the universal rendering pipelines I applied the bloom, film grain, motion blur, and the vignette to darken the screen around the scene. So let me enable the post-processing so you can see the results. 
as you can see here I achieved something like the atmosphere of the Limbo video game also the spider itself it is inspired by that game already so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed and benefited on how to create procedural animations or get at least a basic idea how to do it don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching and thanks to our Patreon supporters Benjamin Denji, Greg Anderson, Jack Crystal, Gojo Apuni, Mohamed Aiden, Rick Jabawoski, Serhat Zikilaya, and Tanaka and Zachari Fox. Till next video, see you soon.